Hey, when'd you get back? Where's Glenda? I don't think it's in your business. I'm making it my business. Listen, Coconut Head. All right, everybody. Hope everybody's doing great. Having a great Christmas. I um, have been actually wanting to do this video for a while. Um, I've wanted to cover Ken Waller. Um, he was just a very um, prominent bodybuilder right at the height of the golden era. You know, started pumping iron right there with Arnold. Um, and just racked up a lot of wins uh, from the late 60s throughout the 70s. Um, but let me tell you a little bit about him before I get into this workout. The workout I covered was his 20-inch uh, arm workout. Um, it's how he said he got his 20-inch arms. But before we get into that, uh, let me go into Ken Waller a bit. Um, he was born March 20th, 1942 in Jeffersonville, Indiana. He played football for Western Kentucky University, um, and he was actually on the undefeated team that year in 1963. Um, he would also go on to play Canadian football. He was a United States Marine, and then he was also a high school teacher in Louisville, Kentucky. And then he um, got into professional bodybuilding. And his stats while he, uh, you know, was competing, uh, typically around 230 pounds. He stood six foot tall. Um, so very uh, classic build, great physique. Um, he starred in some movies. He was in uh, Stay Hungry. He actually played the rival to uh, Arnold's character in that movie. Of course, he was in Pumping Iron. He was kind of the trickster character in that movie, um, and he said that, you know, that was kind of done to add some uh, entertainment to the documentary, you know, where he hid uh, the shirt of Mike Katz, you know, playing psychological mind games. So he kind of played that role of a trickster in that movie. Um, and then he was also in Kill the Golden Goose with Ed Parker, who was uh, Elvis's bodyguard. And you saw a clip of that uh, at the beginning of this video. That was one of his roles. That was a 1979 martial arts film. Um, he also starred in King of the Beach, and then he was in an episode of Incredible Hulk. He didn't have that big of an acting career, just a few uh, roles worth mentioning. Um, as I said, he was active from 1968 and then he retired in 1981. Um, he had many amateur and pro placings, and I'll give you some of his top wins. He was a 1969 AAU Mr. USA, a 1970 AAU uh, tall and overall first place, a 1971 IFBB Mr. America. He was a 1971 NAVA Mr. Universe, um, a 1975 IFBB uh, universe first place, which many consider to be his um, best win. And then in 1976, um, he placed first uh, in the Mr. Olympia in the over 200 category, but not the overall category. And then um, he uh, would continue to place, but, you know, his placings were lower until he finally retired in 1981. And, um, you know, researching him, he actually stayed in pretty good shape uh, into old age. And I'll put up some pictures here where you can see that he really took care of himself. And that's the case with so many of these golden era guys. You know, they're not breaking down... Uh, like a lot of the uh, more modern bodybuilders are in the Mass Monster era. You know, they have uh, pretty much normal lifespans and uh, often, you know, they stay in great shape and into old age, um, which says a lot about um, how uh, the classic physique just holds up better than piling on um, a lot of mass. But that's, uh, that's Ken Waller. Um, I'm going to get into this 20-inch arm routine, um, which I really enjoy doing. 
I also um, did a couple of leg workouts from him that I'm going to get around to do a, doing a video on. Um, they were some high volume workouts for stubborn thighs and they were very close to Arnold's uh, thigh terrorizer routine which I did a video on. So yet we have another golden era bodybuilder um, promoting uh, you know how high volume can really help if you're having uh, you know stubborn legs you're having trouble putting mass on legs but let me end this here um, with the introduction on Ken Waller and now I will actually get into his 20 inch arm routine okay let's get into this uh, 20 inch arm routine from Ken Waller I really enjoyed this one I got it from an old magazine article I've got some pictures to accompany um, so you know you could see uh, the exercises and how exactly he did them the first exercise you're going to do it's more for a warm-up it's going to be six sets of chins um, and you know he did this to warm up he didn't say how many reps um, I imagine, you know, it's just however many, um, you know, you feel like doing until you're warmed up, but you're going to do six sets. I did 10. Um, and I also used an underhand grip on my chins because um, this is going to put more focus on warming up the biceps. So that's how I did them. You know, if you'd like to use an overhand grip, more pull up style. Um, go ahead and do that but the first exercise is more of a warm-up and then after you do your chins you're going to move on to a barbell curl and this is going to be six sets of eight reps and doing eight reps I'm able to do a pretty good bit of weight um, and you're bombing your biceps biceps with uh, six heavy sets pretty much um, and then from your barbell curl, you're going to go to the triceps press down. Same thing, six sets of eight reps. Eight reps, again, is going to allow you to go with pretty heavy weight. Now, on the tricep press downs, he was using uh, a rope to do this. Um, you can do the straight bar if you'd like, but just to run the experiment, I wanted to do everything exactly like he did. Um, so going by the pictures in the magazine article, um, I use the rope as well for the press downs. And then after you finish that, you're going to actually do a superset next. Um, and he supersetted preacher curl with long pulley tri-pulls. Now, if you don't know what the long pulley tri-pulls are, I've got a picture here to demonstrate. And basically, um, you're going to use a rope connected to a cable and you're pulling uh, the weight over the top of your head and extending your triceps forward. Um, and once you see the picture, you'll probably recognize the exercise. I've heard it called, I've heard it been called a different name, um, but I'm kind of glad that he had the picture here. So uh, there's no confusion. But anyway, this is going to be... Um, four supersets and you're going to do the each exercise for 12 reps each so 12 reps is going to allow you to do a little bit more moderate weight you're not going to go as heavy as on the last two exercises and um, these really worked well together and then finally um, you're going to finish this workout with uh, pulley curls and um, you know, he did this with uh, one handle attached to a cable pulley, um, five sets, 15 reps, uh, a lot higher reps here, five sets. Uh, your arms are gonna be burning pretty good from this. You're gonna wanna do this for each arm, move right back and forth. Um, I didn't use any rest. And it's important to also note, and I should have said this on regarding the last, um, supersets with supersets you're going to move right on to the next exercise bam bam you know no rest you're going to work right through these um, 
overall, I really like this arm routine. Um, I could see why it had such great arms. I'm going to give it a solid four stars uh, out of five stars. I really like this one. Um, give it a try. Uh, Ken Waller, you know, like I said, you know, just a golden era, um, iconic bodybuilder. Uh, you know, not as prominent as Arnold and Lou and Zane, of course, but you know, he definitely deserves to be uh, more well known. He racked up a lot of wins. Um, so give this one a try and let me know what you think about about it. I'm going to be back eventually uh, reviewing his um, leg routine uh, that you know you could really liken to Arnold's uh, thigh terrorizer that I've already done a video on. So uh, look forward to that. Hope everyone's doing well and training hard.